One of the biggest changes to Football Manager 2022 was the inclusion of dynamic youth ratings, and this got everyone really excited. Every single country in the game has a youth rating between 0 and 200, with obviously 200 being the very best. The higher the number, the better the chances you have of creating great youth players and regens from those countries. So somewhere like Brazil, which has the best youth rating, is more likely to produce great regens than somewhere like Andorra, for example. For the longest time, these youth ratings have been static. They don't change in the game whatsoever, which makes it a little bit difficult if you're deciding to take, I don't know, Liechtenstein to try and win the World Cup. It's going to be really difficult to generate those youth players that are good enough to actually win a World Cup. But in FM22, that was all meant to change with these dynamic youth ratings, where in your save file, these youth ratings were able to change. So potentially, if you managed for long enough in Liechtenstein and did well enough, the youth rating would increase enough to potentially win a World Cup with them. However, it turned out that uh, things weren't quite like that and what actually was the case was these youth ratings moved very, very slowly. Now in some of the patch notes for the recent updates we've had over the past few weeks or so, there was a little note in there that did say tweaks to youth ratings, which suggests that they maybe are working a little differently now. So today we're going to put that to the test and also just do a little bit of an experiment to see what would happen if every single youth rating was set to 1, the lowest it could be for every single country. I've gone into the pre-game editor and I've done all of this, I've gone through all the countries editing their youth ratings to 1. What I've also done to level the playing field as well is ensure that every single nation in the game also has the exact same uh, development status, so they're all developed countries, they've all got the same financial purchasing power and a few other settings like that that are all the same to try and make this as even as possible. If I left it all the same, then I think we'd see pretty similar results as you would see in real life, where countries that aren't as economically developed aren't going to prioritise football. Countries where uh, football isn't important, they gain importance, for example, those clubs are those countries are not going to develop players very well because they're not bothered about creating good footballers. Then the idea is to literally just go on holiday in game for 100 years or so and see exactly what's happened and how these youth ratings have changed. However, what I've also done to try and make this a little bit more fair is that I've gone to the top 1,000 clubs by reputation and I've changed all of their training, youth facilities, junior coaching and youth recruitment to be the exact same to try and make this a little bit more even. My thinking behind this is that, yes, countries like Spain, England, Germany will have a youth rating of one, but the individual clubs in there are still going to have like the best training facilities in the world and that would give them a big advantage in this experiment so it felt reasonable to me to make this slightly more interesting and maybe a bit more of a level playing field by putting the top 1000 clubs by reputation to have equal training facilities. So jumping in game, just to prove this, uh, if we go in Belgium, for example, and use the in-game editor to have a look at their generated players, you can see youth rating is set to one. And conversely, if we scroll right down to the bottom and click on uh, Micronesia, for example, and we look at their uh, youth rating, you can see it's also set to one. Every single country set to one. And I have gone 105 years in the future with this. We've got all of these save files at five year intervals. Um, so obviously, because there's so much, we're not going to be able to look at every single year and every single detail in this video else it would just be far too long so here's a compromise for you patreon members you're going to get every single one of these save files on the patreon page for you and everyone else who's not a patreon member you get the 2125 file from 105 years in the future there's a link down in the description to the patreon page where you can pick up these but I do want to start a measly five years into the future because I want to see how much the youth rating changes initially. Like, are we going to see actually any change in the first five years? Because I think the idea behind youth ratings was that these change quite slowly over time and people expected the youth rating to change within a season or two when actually this is going to be a gradual change over 50 years or so. So we've gone five years in the future. If we click in Brazil, who are ranked number one in the world as it stands right now in this save file, and we look at the youth rating, it's still set to one. Okay, so it's just not moved at all for Brazil. Let's just like pick up a few nations here, for example, Nigeria in 11th place. If we look at their uh, generated players, youth rating set to one. Okay, if we scroll down to Iran, they seem to have jumped up in world rankings a little bit. Uh, they are currently set to one. So it's looking like not a whole lot is changing. Let's just pick South Korea, for example, one. So in the first five years, 
not an awful lot's changed in terms of these youth ratings, but that's to be expected. The whole idea that behind this mechanic is that it takes a little bit of time for this to move on. Let's jump into 2035. That'd be 15 years from the start, 10 years on from that point. How much will things change then? So in 2035, Italy are ranked the number one country in the world at football. So let's have a look at their youth rating, shall we? And their youth rating is 16. Okay, so we have seen a bit of change. The first five years, it looked like nothing at all from a little few spot checks that we did. But 15 years into the future, Italy are now ranked 16 in their youth rating, which suggests that the youth rating increases by one every single year. Well, what about Brazil? We looked last time, theirs was set to one. Let's have a look at their youth rating. Generated players, four. Okay, so that's a wild difference already. So why has Italy done so well? I'm just looking through the past winners of the Champions League, and I mean, Juventus have come runners up a few times in there, but no Italian team have won it. And that's interesting because my initial hypothesis was that if Italian teams are doing well in European football, right, they're going to be getting more money to invest in their facilities to get better players coming through, which would suggest that they're putting more emphasis on youth players, which would increase the ranking of the youth rating. But maybe that hypothesis is null and void because even the Europa League, uh, I'm not seeing any Italians. Lazio won it. Okay, they won it at one point. Other than that, not seeing any of the winners for Italian teams there. Uh, Udinese won the Conference League. Lazio won it. It's interesting though. That seems to be quite a big change within 15 years. Uh, the United States is up to sixth as well. Obviously, uh, they must have done some pretty decent work. Are there Jerry's players only three? Interesting. If we drop down like into the hundreds then and look at Oman, for example, what's their youth rating at? Eight. So they've got a much better youth rating, but they are stuck down in the bottom end of here. Now, I guess we are only 15 years into the future. Uh, there's a good chance that quite a lot of real players are still playing. Maybe we need to go and jump, I don't know, into 2050 and see what's going on there. Although 2050 is only 30 years in the future, let's go 2070 for 50 years in the future. Okay, so 2070, and this is the state of the world rankings. And Brazil maintain a top spot, England second, Spain third, Italy fourth, France fifth, Argentina sixth, Uruguay seventh, Republic of Ireland eighth, ninth Scotland, and 10th is Turkey. Now, you know, you could argue that maybe Republic of Ireland and Scotland uh, shouldn't normally be that high. Maybe even Turkey as well. But it doesn't look very dissimilar to what you'd expect right now. So why is that? Brazil, let's have a look at your youth rating then. Uh, so, generated players, it's now up to 25. So, I mean, we've gone 50 years in the future and there's only been 24 points of change. It shows that this is a, a slow-moving thing, right? Italy's was really high last time out at 16. It went up on average one per year, didn't it? Their generated players are now at 47. Okay, so what are they doing differently? Again, we looked at Oman, didn't we? They've dropped all the way down to 196. And if we have a look at their generated players, they're up to 30. I mean, they've had more, it's bigger than Brazil's much bigger than Brazil's. Now at this point, it might also be worth noting that if we go to add remove leagues, I've only got the Welsh Premier League loaded up because you've got to have one and to make this as quick as possible, I just went for a really small European league. So that's the only league loaded up. There's only 13,000 players in this database or real players in this database. So it's not a big database at all. But Oman has a better youth rating than Brazil. Let's just double check this. It was 30, wasn't it? What's it now? Did it say it was 20, 25? Yeah. So how can Brazil are still right up there? Well, for me, it must mean that obviously the clubs are absolutely fantastic at generating players. If we look here, I mean, Flamenco have not changed anything in terms of their uh, facilities or recruitment because it's all still 10. If we just scroll down a few Brazilian teams, they've not made any changes at all to their facilities they're all just still at 10 out of t 10 out of 20 sorry okay so the reputation of the team must be massive so uh this club flamenco have got a reputation of 8605 okay so it must be hugely reputation based because if we go to let's have a quick look at oman as well their top club here and we look at their reputation, 3,763. So a huge difference in reputation, nearly 5,000 apart. And they have much better facilities as well. 
So, I mean, on paper, facilities and on paper, youth rating, these guys should be making better players than Brazil. But obviously, it must be completely not related to that. But from what we're seeing so far, youth rating doesn't seem to have a big part in this at all. So youth rating cannot be the most important variable whatsoever. It can't be. Because otherwise we'd see Oman better than Brazil based on pure youth rating alone. It also can't be anything to do with game importance because we switch the game importance to very important for every single country as well. It can't be anything to do with, with money so much because everyone's got 20 economic power. Although the money for individual clubs is very different. Maybe that's got a part to play with it. For me, this is pointing towards reputation of individual clubs being the biggest driver behind this. But... Then there are some anomalies, because Jamaica, they're right up there, and I'm pretty sure their domestic league is not that great in terms of reputation. If we look at, yeah, 3,900, so slightly more than Oman, but still a long way behind Brazil. And if we compare Jamaica to who's behind them right now in the rankings, to Paraguay, for example, they're right behind them. Uh, this club is the most reputable, apparently, in uh, Paraguay, and yeah, 7,600. So am I now thinking way too much into this? Am I neglecting, <laughs> for the want of a better word, the magic of Football Manager, where just, you know, anything can randomly happen? It's all a random number generator, look of the draw, this is what the looks drawn this time. I'll be honest, heading into this, I was not expecting these sorts of results. I thought things would be so much more mixed up. But also, I'm just spotting down here, Belgium, 42nd. They've got a youth rating of 26, which is still higher than Brazil's. And yet Brazil are at the top. But Genk, supposedly, they're, well, this is interesting. Uh, we haven't got the... Obviously, Belgian leagues loaded up, but Genk have been relegated to the second division there. And electing the Jupiler Pro League, Antwerp been relegated as well. Charleroi are down into the third division. But Genk, uh, what's their reputation? 6,900. It's still lower than the Brazilian clubs, but... You know what? This opens a can of worms. This really opens a can of worms in my head. I mean, maybe I'm being stupid, and there's things that are easily explainable, and you guys can explain it to me in the comments section. But I, I can't explain some of this stuff. Let me know your theories down in the comments section. Also, whilst you're down there, I've not asked already, have I? But make sure you do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here because I think we're going to have to do some more videos on this. Let me know your theories. Let me know how you think we should maybe test this as well going into the future because I would, this is blowing my mind a little bit. So much so that I feel like we kind of abandon the experimentation because I think we need to do some more digging into this. And instead, we just go straight to the final save file and we have a look at the World Cup and see how things have changed that way. Okay, so here we are in 21 at 25, 105 years in the future. It's only actually taken 17 hours of simulation to get this far, which is a bit quicker than I thought it would be. Let's have a quick look at the world rankings where <laughs> things do just look like they would do at the start of a normal football manager game or like five seasons in. There's not a whole lot of change. Now, Portugal ranks number one. Uh, let's see what their youth rating is quickly. 97. Wow, okay. That's really rocketed up. I mean, it's been 105 years, but it also does show that 105 years to go up to 97. Like, it just shows that if you were the manager of Liechtenstein, it might take 100 years to go up 100 youth rating points and even then that would still not put you anywhere near the top kind of brings a bit of a bummer down on uh, building a nation saves a little bit but i love doing them so i'm going to carry on doing them but uh, it makes you realize that world cups might not be possible with andorra what about brazil then they famously kept having really low youth ratings and it's only 50 now only 50 now and yet they have gone on to win eight world cups so three more across the past 100 years now, Italy were the early pace setters, weren't they, with their uh, points? But if we have a look at the youth rating now, it's 107. That's the highest we've seen so far. I do want to have a look at Oman, though, as well. Are they still higher than Brazil in terms of points? They are. They've got 52 compared to Brazil's 50. So let's have a look at the World Cup past winners. And to be fair, it's not that dissimilar. Like... Denmark have won it, Colombia have won it, 
other than those two countries, I think most of these teams who have won it, you'd, you'd imagine could be realistic winners. Even Croatia and the Netherlands, because um, they've both reached finals in recent years. Obviously, I could see them, you know, being World Cup winners. Obviously, Denmark won the Euros, but that was a while ago now, wasn't it? Um, but even then, like, you wouldn't say Denmark couldn't get to the later stages of a World Cup. You wouldn't say Colombia couldn't get to the later stages of a World Cup. You could say Scotland couldn't get there but that is 100 years in the future and I'm being very facetious towards all the Scottish viewers out there I do apologize but it's not like we're seeing an Andorra a Liechtenstein a San Marino they're just they're not there there has not been nearly as much shake up to the world system as I thought there was going to be so this has been really interesting because the fact it's not changed suggests that youth rating doesn't play that important of a role and maybe you shouldn't read into it too much. So I think we're gonna wrap things up here today, but I would love to know what you guys think and how we could maybe tweak this for the future to just see if we can work out what actually is the biggest driving force behind generating regens and what makes them so good. I've got an idea. Just before we've, I've got an idea, but it's instantly been thwarted by Portugal being number one, because I was gonna start saying, is it population? And if it was population, it would make sense that China was number one and the US was like, you know, up there number two. India was up there as well, the biggest population centers. But having Portugal number one takes that away a little bit. The Netherlands in ninth takes that away a little bit. Belgium up to 11th takes that away. Maybe ignore what I said about population, maybe. But these teams are still high reputation teams, aren't they? As in like that the clubs that play in these countries have got high reputations. So maybe it's population first, reputation second, because the Chinese clubs, for example, if you look at some of the best ones like Shanghai, they're 7,800 to be fair, okay. And that's probably, actually no, Porto are gonna have a bigger one, aren't they? And they've not done anything to their facilities either. I'm not sure if I've accidentally locked these to just stay at 10 forever, maybe. Maybe I, I did, but I'm not sure that's a thing or not. I don't know. Um, they've got 9,100 reputation Porto. So maybe, yeah, okay, it, it's better. Oh, there's so much buzz around my head as to how this could all work. And I need some clearer thinking from you lots. So let's reconvene in another video where we make some changes to this and see what could happen. So thank you so much for watching today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully your brain isn't hurting quite as much as mine because it all seems a bit weird to me. Unless I've missed something completely obvious, but I don't think I have, but I don't know. Maybe you guys in the comment section can pick it up. But until next time, have a lovely evening. Speak to you all soon. Goodbye.